The Seahawks, we saw collapse against the Titans. That is closer to who the Seahawks are than the team that was up 15 on the Titans. You know, the way the Vikings moved the ball, especially the way they ran the ball against the Cardinals, uh, I like the Vikings to get off the schneid and win at home. That's like a point right now. The Eagles are not very good. And that number is too small. The Cowboys have a, you know, as a as a little genius uh, birdie told our friend Sal, the Cowboys have a top three offense in the league. So I, I, I think the Cowboys win that game uh, by double figures. I'm obviously terrified about this Red Sox-Yankees series this weekend. The Yankees have a favorable pitching matchup in every one of those games. But Saturday, Nestor Cortez against Nick Pavetta. That game's going over. This is going to be the pinball game. That game's going way over on Saturday. Book it here. The Niners should be 2-0 and going into this game. Is now maybe when we see a little bit more Trey Lance? I wouldn't be surprised if that's where we see it. And maybe the Packers are a little self-satisfied with, uh, with to, what to me was ultimately a kind of like pretty good win against the bum lions i'm not positive about the packers specifically the defense just yet so I'll, I'll take the niners there given the three at home arkansas with a huge game upcoming on saturday night take the road team a and m is not gonna wind up i don't think in the final four but they're better they're further along in the program than the hogs are so i say take the aggies i'm not betting against tom brady even though he's a road favorite in los angeles in a place that would appear to offer a home field advantage. SoFi Stadium, I say uh, Brady and the Buccaneers, cover that one and a half. Take them.